All right, so here we go. I'm finally making this video. I've been putting it off for like three days because I'm terrible. I shouldn't have done that. But here we are. I'm actually doing it now. I need to move this real quick. I have some notes here just to make sure I don't forget what I'm talking about. Basically, this is me trying to explain why I've, why I've decided to quit playing video games. The long and the short of it is that it's kind of, at this point in my life, uh, been holding me back from being able to progress personally. And I keep, I keep saying that, um, progress personally, because I, I, I think it's very true for the way things are right now. Um, just in case, I want to, alright, yeah, this is the one I... So, the thing that really got me started thinking about this, uh, I, I definitely had some thoughts about, you know, not playing video games anymore before, but the thing that, like, actually got me started into actually taking that seriously was um, the World Health Organization talking about um, classifying gaming as a disorder. And it wasn't so much that I think that, you know, I'm got gaming disorder it's more a lot of the stuff people talked about in like reddit comments and stuff there's was a lot of people who shared stories about how quitting gaming you know really improved their life um and like a lot of the stories they were telling uh rung true for me um i even actually took one of the ideas that i saw from one of those reddit comments about keeping yourself accountable uh, where, you know, you write out all the things that you want to get done uh, in a week. You write out, you know, video games and other things that you're going to probably do to hide from those things. Uh, and then, you know, you put a little check mark next to each one as you do them. So at the, en at the end of the week, you can find, you know, find out what you've been doing and what you can do to improve. Uh, but that doesn't really get into exactly the why of it. Um, for me, video games have always been something I've played and done. Um, when I was younger, my dad was, you know, the guy who introduced me to video games. I remember being like three or four years old, sitting on my dad's shoulders, watching him play pod racing and uh, what was the other one serious sam hd i think serious sam hd is the one now the original serious sam game you know what i'm talking about um hopefully <laughs> if not go play serious sam it's great um yeah so like it's been around me and in my blood for as long as i can remember uh, and for a long time, I don't think it was a problem for me. Uh, really, the problem stemmed from when I started, uh, well, eventually my parents ended up getting divorced, as tends to happen nowadays, it seems like. Um, and uh, my mom isn't the kindest of people, and I lived with her for a long time. Uh, and my way of dealing with her just in general was to go downstairs where I had my crappy little computer and play WoW. Not necessarily because I wanted to just like not be around her. I mean, it was because I didn't want to be around her, but not necessarily because, you know, WoW was like my escape, but it was just an easy way to hide from her. I, uh, she didn't really come down to the basement and all that stuff. So that's where gaming as like, um, a coping mechanism really really helped me and eventually as I grew older and moved out of my mom's house you know I still kept playing games it was really intense I've always been really you know I put I put a lot of time in the games it's just you know who I am part of what really you know set me off into this path after reading all the comments after everything else you know there had to be something that you know, gave me, like, the driving force. And 
for me, it was really that not only was I not having, or it was not only was did I feel like it at this point in my life is holding me back from getting things done that I want to do. Uh, I also am. I, f I feel like I haven't been enjoying games the way I used to. And, you know, part of that, I think, is just getting older and being more accustomed to games. Uh, but, you know, a lot of that is also the fact that, you know, I think they're not what I need to be doing with my time anymore. And so that's, you know, kind of what's put me where I am right now, where I just needed to figure out you know, something to do to shake up my time um and for me that's you know that's gonna have to be gaming get rid of the gaming uh, i'm gonna also get rid of some youtube i'm gonna get rid of um i get got rid of everything on my phone this distraction got rid of reddit because i know that those are places that i go and hide when i don't want to change my ways so I guess that brings me to what was the point of all this? Why am I actually going out and doing it? And that is that I want to, you know, make this a journey, like a, like a journey of personal progression. So what I mean by that is I want to go out and like do things and meet people. Um, basically, I want to bring myself back to where I was when I was in high school and I was a lot better balancing than because I, I would do things like go out and things like go out and um, I was part of our theater and I was part of the Elkhorn Community Theater for a while and I was part of um, like our, our show choir and all that all that other fun stuff and so like I just want to go out and do more things because I feel like where I was I've gone as far as I, I can possibly go and yeah. In that, if that's the case, then I don't know what else I can do. It's just at this point, it's really there's nowhere else for me to go, but somewhere else, basically. Go outside more, do more things. I mean, I guess it doesn't even necessarily have to be going outside more. I talked briefly with about maybe doing uh, some D and D games with people. But I also want to go out and, you know, get back into theater, get back into uh, some other stuff that I used to do in the past. Um, basically, I just want to be able to, you know, spend more time on things that are more important than, you know, sitting at a computer. Because I'm not able to do that while playing video games. Uh, I've shown that countless times. And, you know... That's just where I need to be right now. It sucks. But it's what I've got to do. Uh, I do plan on making more videos of this. Not this type. But, um, you know, something is like a... I don't know if I'm going to do a daily thing or not. But basically just a way to like help keep myself on track. And give everyone who may be interested... I don't know if anyone's going to be interested. I don't expect anyone to be interested. But it'll help keep me accountable, is basically the idea. Uh, and so the goal is going to be to, you know, to talk about the things that I did that I wouldn't have done otherwise. Uh, for example, today I went out and talked to my dad. Uh, I normally hate contacting people first. It's really hard for me. But, you know, it was good. I went and saw him at the... At a, at a restaurant and we had some food it wasn't the best food because it was a place we'd never been before but you know that happens that's life <laughs> um the hard part for me wasn't going and seeing my dad the hard part was like i said contacting him yeah that's the kind of thing i expect to put out in a video is you know just short i don't even know maybe even just like three minutes, two minutes, enough to s pop in, say hi, and tell you, you know, this is the one thing I did that's different today. But, you know, with any luck, eventually it'll be, you know, uh, here's ten minutes of this really cool thing I went to do. 
We'll see. Um, I think that's all for now. I'm trying to see if I have anything else that I wrote down. No. Thanks for watching. Or, or not. I don't know. Probably nobody's watching. But thanks anyways. Bye.